I worked with uh, men who um, uh, were domestically violent. They beat their wives regularly. It's a very, very interesting. Uh, well, I mean, not uh, uh, you know interesting in, in, in a strange sense of the word. It's a very peculiar experience because they, as soon as their wives kind of tried to move away from them slightly, they would be desperate and they uh, would need to enforce uh, their discipline or whatever they wanted onto the person. They, you know, they couldn't bear the person, but they, they would treat her terribly. They would treat the wife terribly. But uh, once they've done it, they'd be full of despair and sorrow and wanting to make it up and you know and you know you, how could you say that they really weren't feeling for that person and, and they didn't understand what it, something came over them and so on and so forth and then that would kind of get the wife back into that arena and then uh, as soon as she kind of started to move away again it would the whole cycle would start uh, and it was I mean what her part in it was is I, I, I never quite got to grips with that and I didn't work with the women, I worked with the men. But it was very, very clear with the men that uh, whatever they had inside them, they could make their wife own for a while when they were violent. Uh, and you know, the terror that they had or whatever, just make her feel, they were relieved of it. As soon as they were relieved of it, they could actually experience uh, what seemed like uh, relatively genuine empathy. And that would be seductive to the women and they would then come back because, oh yeah, he does feel. Uh, but as soon as they came back and they were more themselves again, that would trigger the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then he would have to make her be exactly what he needed her to be. Uh, and, and the cycle would start. It was very distressing to watch.